Welcome to the BYU Family History Library. This video provides instructions for using the Wolverine Data Film to Video Movie Maker Pro 8mm and Super 8 converters. Before explaining the operation of these scanners, here are some general instructions. The BYU Family History Library has a very useful collection of electronic equipment for scanning and digitizing books, documents, photographs, photographic slides, 8mm and Super 8mm movie film, VHS cassettes, audio cassettes, and Betamax tapes. All this equipment is available for use by patrons of the library free of charge during the time the library is open. However, it is best to contact the library through its website and click on the link to the scanning equipment page to check equipment availability. If you have a BYU login, you can then use this page to reserve a time to use the equipment. If you do not have a BYU login, then you can see the times available for using the equipment and contact the Family History Library help desk to make a reservation. Please be aware that much of what you find online is protected by copyright law. You are responsible for determining if any specific records are covered by some country's laws. Becoming aware of the copyright restrictions that apply to the records you are interested in digitizing is an important part of being a responsible researcher. Each machine may have its own way of storing the digitized images or audio files they produce. Make sure you know how and where your files will be stored before you start digitizing and scanning. If you are uncertain about saving your files, you can also ask for help at the help desk. The BYU Family History Library computers will automatically erase any data stored on them when you log off, so it is advisable to use your own flash drive, hard disk drive, or online storage website to store your scanned images. Please be careful while using the equipment, and if you have trouble handling your personal media, ask for assistance. Some of this equipment is very expensive and should not be mistreated. The Wolverine Data Film to Digital Movie Maker Pro 8mm and Super 8mm converters are intricate and fairly challenging to load properly. The machines are referred to as converters. During their operation, the converters digitize each frame of your film on your reel. The process is very slow and takes about nine times as long as the original video. The digitized film is stored on an SSD card inserted into the back of the converter. If you stop the digitization process before it is finished, the converter will start a new file, and if you want the whole film in one file, you will have to use a digital film editing program such as iMovie, Adobe Premiere, or Camtasia to combine the clips into a single file. The Help Desk has helpful Get Started instruction sheets for using the converters. Please take a moment to review the instructions before starting to use the equipment. You will first have to ask at the Help Desk to get access to one of the converters. In addition to the converter, you will also need the power cable, a take-up reel, an adjustment cap to match the hole size on your reel, and an SSD card. All these items are necessary to operate the converters, but all are available at the help desk. Make sure you have the correct film type, either 8mm film or Super 8mm film. There is a switch on the front of the machine that lets you select the correct size. Super 8 has small square hole shaped holes and the 8mm film has larger rectangular holes. There is also a sheet included with the converters that lets you match the film to a photo of each type. Carefully determine if your film is 8mm or Super 8mm. The library has some sample reels of film that are clearly marked to aid you in your determination. Be careful while handling the film rolls. Photographic film is easily torn or broken. You should also be careful not to put fingerprints on the small images. Your film reel may not have a length of liter film. 
If the reel does not have a leader, the first few images will not be copied. Special equipment is needed to splice or add a leader to a film reel, and the library does not have access to that equipment, and the supplies needed to add leaders or splice broken films. You will need to search online to find either the equipment to splice movie film or a service that can help. There are also YouTube videos about the process. Add or remove the adjustment cap to fit your film reel. Make sure that the SSD card is seated properly in the slot on the back side of the converter, or the converter will show an error message. If you have any difficulty loading or identifying your type of film, please ask for assistance at the help desk. Before turning on the converter, thread the film following the path indicated by the white line. The film goes under the first roller, then through the advancement feeder, and then continues to follow the path as indicated and onto the take-up reel going counterclockwise. Rotate the take-up reel on the right to take up any slack in the film. Look to see that the film goes over the camera portion of the converter and compare what you have done to the images on the instruction sheets. Make sure the film cover is open and carefully insert the film under the three very small clips along the film path. Be sure to thread the film so that it is seated on the tiny advancement teeth. It is very hard to see the teeth in the clips. Do not pull too hard on the film or it may break. Carefully close the film cover. Turn the converter on and use the right button to select the menu and the middle and left buttons to move up or down to different items from the menu. It may take a minute or two to understand how the menu items move and are selected. The SSD card may need to be formatted or wiped before it is used. Use the two arrow buttons to select and then the right button click on the format more to erase all the leftover memory on the card. The library's SSD card has 32 gigabytes of memory. If you have a lot of film to scan, you may need to stop and store the memory on your own flash drive or hard disk drive before you run out of memory. The library has a connector to plug the SSD card into a USB slot, and many laptop computers now come with a slot to transfer the digitized film to your own computer. You could also bring your own or higher capacity SSD card. Make sure it is the right kind of SSD card as shown on the screen. Using the three buttons, select Frame ADJ or Frame Adjust to center the film and resize the image on the view screen. You can move the film with the arrow keys, and by pushing the Enter button, you can switch between moving the XY axis. Here again, you may need to practice doing this for a while to get the film correctly on the small screen. The W selection lets you zoom in or out. Make sure you have the entire frame in the tiny view screen window. If you need help, please ask for help at the help desk. Select Record from the menu and the converter should begin digitizing the film image by image. If the machine does not immediately start, you may need to work on getting the film properly set under the small clips and matching the holes on the film with the advancement teeth. Again, if you need help, ask at the help desk. Remember, once the converter starts digitizing the film, it will take about nine times the viewing time to digitize one reel of film. Make sure you have time to see the job finished. If you stop digitizing in the middle of a reel, when you start again, the converter will create a new separate file for each stopping point. Do not disturb the converter while it is operating. If the film stops working, gently push on the film where it comes out of the digitizing window to see if that will once again begin the digitizing process. You may also need to open the lid and gently push the film along its path to restart the digitizing process. Close the lid to resume digitizing the film. After the film is finished scanning, you can rewind the film, open the film lid, and take both reels off the converter. 
swap the reels from right to left and left to right. Click through the menu to the rewind section and click to start the rewind process. Be especially careful during this process because it is possible to break the film. Turn the converter off and remove the SSD card from the slot on the back of the converter. Use a USB cable connector or a slot on a laptop to copy the images on the SSD card. The film file will be found on the USB drive D menu on the card. If you stopped recording, there will be multiple files. Please be sure to return all the parts to the help desk. We thank you for your interest in using the equipment in the BYU Family History Library and hope that you will take advantage of the opportunity provided to preserve your ancestral heritage.